This just arrived in my mail directly from Nintendo, and it'll cost you nothing if you want to get one. Everything from Nintendo's site is free, and I'm gonna show you how. But on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to take your physical Nintendo Switch games and turn them into free money that you can use on the Switch's eShop to download whatever game you want for free. Free. But on top of that, I'm going to show you another way to make free money and then go to Nintendo's website and buy whatever you want for free. I had this arrive at my front door that cost me nothing. Well, actually, that that last part isn't exactly true. It was supposed to cost me nothing, but Nintendo screwed me again. <laughs> That was dramatic. All right, here's the video. Oh, and stick around to the end. I'm gonna open this and it'll make sense when you get there. What? Is this common knowledge? I just discovered something today that blew my mind and I should have been doing this whole time. And I messaged my, my buddy RGT and I was like, did you know about this? And even he was confused. Did you know that when you buy a Switch game physically and you put it in your Switch, you can click on the game and then hit my Nintendo rewards program and redeem points for the game. I had no idea. And the worst part is apparently you only have a year to do it. I have hundreds of games. Hundreds. That's like 30,000 gold coins I've missed out on. This all started because Triangle Strategy just came out. You can buy a different cover on my Nintendo for it using points. So I went to my Nintendo because I was like, oh, that's kind of sick. I'll take a look at that. And I realized I have like no points. I was like, if I can't afford it after buying this many games who can and that's when i started to realize this whole my nintendo program that i've been ignoring has free stuff my mind has been shattered i wanted to go through the tutorial and see what that is with you guys and then try and redeem as many things as i can that i've bought in the last year and then see what we can buy on my nintendo What game is this? Ninja La! This video is sponsored by the completely free to play Nintendo Switch exclusive game, Ninja La! Since the game launched almost two years ago, they've added so much extra content. Now it's in its ninth season. Ninjala has teamed up with Jujutsu Kaisen. This collaboration is filled with costumes, emotes, statues you can morph into, stickers, KO animations, gum bottles, and gum weapons. So you use gum to morph into objects and create giant weapons? Yeah. There's also an in-game tournament. It's a six-hour ranking battle called the Jujutsu Kaisen Cup, open to all regions on April 9th. You can win limited edition prizes, coins, medals, and more. If you need even more reason to jump into the game, I picked it up and started playing it again recently, and it's still a ton of fun. You got all out eight player battles or team modes. There's so many weapons you can switch between, each with different play styles and special abilities. The strategic flow of battles is so fun, whether you're going for points or knockouts, and they've even added a story mode. Again, this game is only available on our favorite console. It is completely free, meaning you can enjoy without subscribing to Nintendo Switch Online and by going to the eShop and downloading the game with my link below directly supports my channel. Okay, so my Nintendo tutorial reward. We're off to a great start because I can't click on this for some reason, although it is loading. Okay, you can get this. All right, I want this. What is this? Redeem your points for this reward. I don't know what I'm redeeming for, but there's 50 of my points gone. Yay. Okay, my Nintendo home. Earn gold points on eligible items and redeem them on eligible purchases. Okay, so that's another thing too. You can use the gold points to buy more games on the Switch. Think of how many free games I could have had. How do I get rid of this? 
Not letting me get rid of this. Okay, so I can get a Zelda wallpaper for my phone. Okay, there's a lot of wallpapers for phones. Is there something unique about them? Are they like living wallpapers? I don't know if that's worth 50 points, Nintendo. I don't know what to tell you. My Nintendo store rewards. Oh, this is what we want. Pokemon Legends, Arceus, Pikachu, and Eevee. What? What is this? Mask cable strap. Oh, that's 400. And I have how many? None? How do you get platinum points? Platinum points can be earned by completing missions related to my Nintendo service. Okay, and then gold points are the digital and physical. So you can only get physical items by doing missions? That's a shame because I kind of want that and I kind of want this. These dread posters are sick. I would like to get those. Oh, he's pretty cool, actually. He's a thousand as well. How do I partake in a mission. So I would need to play Pocket Camp and then Fire Emblem Heroes. Collect all now. Oh, I got 20 more. Okay. Nintendo Services. Okay. The Poochie Pups are hiding in different spots on Yoshi's Crafted World website. Okay. Let's look for Poochies. Can you see any chat? Because I can't. Oh, wait. What's this? Do I wait. You found a Poochie Pop. Oh, you earned 50 platinum points. Okay, we're getting so close to the poster. By the way, we're going to keep looking for Poochie Pops, but I did want to show you what I meant with this. What you do, you click on that, my Nintendo rewards, earn gold points, and then you click the account you want the gold points to go to, and then you earn points for the software. And just like that, I got 60 gold coins. And how does that translate into like dollars? So how much have I been missing? 10 points is 10 cents. So you get 60 cents cents back but 60 cents times 500 games is 30,000 cents so divided by 100 300 dollars not much considering how much i bought but it's not nothing i doubt i have that many games i've bought in the last year i feel like i've really slowed down on buying games does limited run physical carts count we gotta keep trying to get platinum points because i want those posters i found one poochie pop what is this website man maybe he's it does he count see like what if that was like really sneaky and like that was one where are you where are you where are you there where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ooh, there you are. Okay, I'm having too much fun finding these Poochie Pops to scroll down. I'm seeing a theme. There you are. You earned 150 my points. You can head over to there and spend your points. Okay, what are we at? 490. What else can I do to earn points so I can get these stupid posters? Link your Facebook account. Oh, I don't want to, but okay. Another account has already been linked. Oh, I've already linked an account to this one. We'll come back to that. Link your Google account. Oh, and Twitter. Uh, another Another account's already been linked? They're making us work for it right now. So I have two accounts. I have my Australian account and I have my US account. I'm trying to do this on my US account because I figured we would have better luck getting the posters sooner and probably at all if we use the US account. Create a Mario Kart Live home circuit racer ID. Oh no! Start making your racer ID. Take a photo with your camera. Say cheese? Oh, no. Let's uh, stop the screen recording for a second. I'll close OBS, and then we'll use webcam. Look, it's so bad. Okay, this is the worst quality camera. All right, we got to take a nice photo here. Hold on, I got to get the microphone out of the way. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't really... <laughs> That's even better. Oh, I didn't realize it had a countdown. Banana peel. Nice. A little bit of a bullet bill situation, maybe. Borders. Okay, nice. I like this. Maybe a little lemmy up here in the corner. Dude, looking nice. 540. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, I can do it. I can feel it. Find the five hidden stickers on the Super Mario 3D World website. Okay, so this is what they look like. There's a bell. There's a bell right here. This one. I did it. Stickers, stickers, stickers. Where are they? Where are they hiding? Oh, oh. Oh, I found one. There's another one. Look at you. Has anyone done this? Seriously. Like, has anyone actually done this? I had no idea this was a thing. And there's the fourth. I didn't think they would hide one by now. Okay, what's next? Find the five holes that are hidden on the Mario Golf Super Rush website. I feel like we know the drill now. You found a hole. Yeah, I did. Hey, holy, 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 holy. This is such a weird video. There's a hole. Hey, hey, hey. Find the four dice blocks that are hidden on the Mario Party Superstars website. We're just beast moding this now. I'm legitimately smiling. I'm actually having fun. No, that one's sneaky. I almost didn't see that one. 
Just so you know, all the effects you've heard are from the editor. Thank you, Zach. Because <laughs> th this was dead quiet for me. 850! Oh, I'm so close. We're kind of tapped out here. Sign into the Nintendo eShop on a Wii U on Nintendo 3DS system weekly? Why is there no Switch option for that? We've juiced the website for the Nintendo services. We have to turn to the mobile games. So I'm going to download on my phone the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Play Store, Animal crossing install watch me get addicted to this game and then my next video is i'm addicted to the animal crossing mobile game now how much tutorial stuff am i gonna have to go through i already have kk slider playing us a little song and i don't think i can skip it while he's singing away i can't remember what's come out in the last year but i know monster hunter stories 2 did this is blowing my mind how have i not been doing all of this this whole time you just get 60 points for every game or does it go by value of the game this is when we get into the point where i start realizing that these games came out more than a year ago, and I don't know where the time has come. How is that more than a year old? If Game Builder Garage is more than a year old, I'm gonna start making funeral plans because I'm gonna be dead soon. 30? Oh, because it was a, yeah, it was a $30 game. This game's making me actually play it before I can hit the social button. What? Now I gotta, I gotta get him an apple. This game looks pretty good, actually. <laughs> I might actually play this. I've never played the, I know Kim's played it, but I've never played the app. What else came out in the last year? Oh, Kim has my game. I'm gonna have to go get the game from Kim. Uh, hold on. I had to steal it from Kim's Switch. <laughs> this game is making me do so much stuff. Now I gotta craft. Let me link my Twitter. Like, indie games will give you points. Oh my god, I just had a thought. This is the closest you can get to being rewarded for playing and, like, doing things in the Nintendo ecosystem. But imagine if they actually implemented achievement systems where you get these coins for achievements. People would spend so much more time playing games on Switch to earn more of these achievement points. You finish the game, you get like 50 coins or something. Like it's not much on its own, but with how many games you're playing, it all adds up, you know? I gotta find more games that came out in the last year. And now there's an update. So maybe the game's finally opened up. While that's happening, I wanna see if I can actually buy something off the eShop with all of these points. Okay, so if I wanted to buy like the new triangle strategy using only points, redeem points so i have 30 dollars worth of points i mean that pays for half the game i could buy anything for 30 dollars for free like i could probably get this new changing tides with just the coins that i have yeah it would be free i wouldn't even use all my coins i'd never really paid attention to it or really acknowledged how many coins i was amassing like i knew this system was here but the redeeming for physical i don't know how long that's been a thing i googled it to see if i was just an idiot and there was a reddit post from a year ago this has obviously been a, a thing for a while oh 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 i can link my twitter <gasps> i can link my twitter why is this so hot? How to link Facebook and Twitter. Why does this need a video? This guy's known the whole dang time. This was 2017! I am the Nintendo guy. How was this not communicated with me? Hop over to friends, friends. I don't have a friends tab like you do. Did they get rid of the friends tab? Or are you saying, am I not at the friends yet? This is how I did it on Android phone as of today, December 2020. And you won't see the bottom screen until you scroll up and it'll show the find a friend at the bottom. Oh my, oh my god. You could scroll up on this page? I thought that was a one and done page right there. It has taken exactly 24 minutes and 29 seconds, but I have officially linked I got 300 points just for linking the Nintendo app, which I did half an hour ago. I technically had enough points 30 minutes ago. I didn't need to link my Twitter. But I could also link my Facebook and get another 300. <laughs> yes! I now have 1750. Hold up a second. I've actually just woke up. I'm filming this, hopefully in time to cram it into the video. Because I just found out even more. I have never even pressed this icon, Nintendo Switch Online. It turns out you get points, more platinum points, just for logging in here, I think, every day. If you go to missions and rewards, there's even more missions here that you can do, like playing the Monster Hunter Rise demo, using the data save cloud. I had no 
no idea. You know what I gotta do now? My Nintendo game card case. What is that? That's just a case? That is lame. We can get a calendar. Also kind of lame. But I could set a reminder on the calendar to redeem all the points for the carts at the end of the year, which is handy. I do kind of like this guy. Oh, he's tiny. Oh, that's a pumpkin. I thought that was an apple. Acrylic panel art. That is pretty cool. But I feel like that's only gonna be like this big. These posters are sick. What do you mean? Sold out. I did all of this for that. That sold out too? All you have in stock is a cable clip. Not even the keychain. <laughs> Nintendo giveth and Nintendo taketh away. Oh, this is a holder for the ID and that is also sold out. So we can't even print out the ID we made earlier and put it in a nice little lanyard. That sucks. Well, I guess now I have the points for when they launch something else cool and I'll just have to be quick about spending them. I was so excited for those posters. I felt like I had earned them. Let's see if they're on eBay or something. $80. We can do better. What's this, 35? I don't care if... I'm buying them from a reseller. I earned these posters. I deserve these posters. I'm buying them. Cam! Makari sucks. It is a dumb website for dumb people, except you. <laughs> I cannot make an account because apparently at some point I made an account and it's tied to my phone number. Can you buy this poster set for me with your Makari account? Also, is Makari trustworthy? I trust it over any of the other apps. Okay, cool. Apparently four people have liked this item, so we need to snag the deal very fast. Okay, you just bought it? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Kim. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, apparently the camera cut out while Kim was in the room, but she bought it. I earned it, and now I'm getting it. I had to pay $40 for it, but I don't know. They're worth it, right? I'm back. Yeah, okay, I had to pay for mine. You know the truth now. It doesn't change the fact that it would have been free if it was in stock. I know that they do update that store and they add new cool things to it all the time, so still a handy tip to be prepared. I mean, if you lock the points in now, you don't have to fart around trying to do it when something finally does drop and then it's sold out because you were too busy finding poochies. Oh, by the way, this, I got Kim to make that for me. <laughs> it was for dramatic effect, okay? It's technically not wrong. These at some point did come from Nintendo. I kind of don't want to open them yet because I'm moving house soon, hopefully. That's a long story. I actually haven't even mentioned that on YouTube yet. So I don't really want to hang these up yet. I want to wait. Well, these are completely new. They hadn't even removed this thing from there yet. I don't think they've ever been unfurled. Whoa, it's so cool. All right, these were totally worth it. I gotta be honest, they're not full poster size like I expected, but they're still really sick. I really like them. It's hard to actually get a good idea of what it looks like because all my studio lights are like bouncing off like a rainbow effect, but I think you get the idea. All right, well, thank you random person on Makari for managing to find all the hidden die blocks and Mario stickers before I did and grabbing the posters and then selling them at a, I guess, made up price since they had no value to begin with. Gotta say 35 was reasonable, so thank you for that. Could have been worse, I suppose. And thank all of you for watching the video. I appreciate you a lot. Links down below to all my other channels, my streams, the sponsor. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.